So today is an exciting day for rifle shooters and that's because Seiko have just launched the new Seiko 90. So I have literally hightailed it, 10 or 15 minutes drive, um, down to my local gun shop, which is Barbary Gun Room, which is based at Barbary Shooting School to see Tom. Tom, good to see you. Good Thanks to see you. Thanks for inviting me over. Not a problem. Um, I was delighted to get over here literally on day one of the launch to take a closer look at this Seiko 90. So you've got hold of it. So let, 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 bring let, it around. let's have it, Tom, let's have a look. <laughs> so this is it. This is the Seiko 90. Lovely. Um, this is the Hunter model. Okay. What do you think? Well, do you know, when we first picked this rifle up, um, Initially, I think it's true to say that I kind of wondered what had changed. Um, to say I was underwhelmed would be perhaps unfair, but initially you think, well, I know what the Seiko 85 is like. I've been shooting it for very many years. I'm sure you've handled it a good many times. Absolutely. And you pick up the Seiko 90 and you wonder what has changed. But this is one of those situations where the devil is in the detail, because I think I'm right to say that actually Seiko have made quite a few adjustments to this, haven't they? A few improvements. Absolutely. They've... So, pick off, Tom. Tell, tell us what, what, what have they done? There's a few bits and bobs here. Um, again, especially with this model, um, it's all under the skin, really. So, um, starting with the, the trigger here, um, they've actually incorporated an adjustable trigger into this one. Um, make it, it's a, it's a hell of a lot easier to use than what's yeah. on the 85. Because the 85 was, in truth, it was a little bit fiddly, wasn't it? To That's okay. adjust that trigger. Absolutely. But they've just drilled, I don't know if you picked this up on camera, but they've literally drilled through, made a hole there in the trigger guard, and you can make the adjustment here on the lug here, just in front of the trigger. That's it. Well it's done, dead, Seiko. Dead simple, um, just making something a hell of a lot easier to use. Yeah. Um, inside, I mean, they've sort of reworked the extractor system a little bit, yeah, um, so you can see just in there um, what a, they've a done. Double love extractor or something. That's it, that right? absolutely, good. Absolutely. Um, again, it just helps with everything. Um, barrel um, has been changed a little bit. So in terms of the finish on this, they have they've put something a little bit sturdier on that, yeah. in theory. Um, so it should be a bit more durable. It should be a bit more durable, a little bit more rugged, um, but time will tell. And I think I'm right in saying, because we were discussing this, now it's, it, we should point out that Seiko do a lot of different models in the 90, same as they did in the 85. What we've got here is a standard model. This is in 308, so it's a standard Seiko 90 rifle. Now, there are probably a good half a dozen, maybe more, different varieties of this there with are. different stocks, so synthetic stocks and, and, and a different feel to the stock. Um, and on this one, We've got the standard uh, Optilock. Optilock mount system, mount haven't we? System. Yeah, but on the Sporter, you get the Picatinny rail. Um, they've also done something clever here. Now, as we all move away from lead ammunition, what Seiko have done is they've introduced a different twist rate to the rifle, yes. haven't they, to the barrel? They have, yeah. And that's to optimise the ballistic performance of non-lead ammunition. So that's a real good, and I think that's forward thinking, don't you? Absolutely. It's it's going to be well, it's a matter of years now, really, a couple of years, I'd say, um, until we're all shooting copper. Um, sort of, and that, that'll be us then. So thinking yeah. thinking of something towards the future um, is definitely a good good point from Seiko, though. I would say. Yeah. So so I think it's true to say, you know, we've got some improvements here to this Seiko 90. There's a lot of very familiar features to this. You know, the safety catch is in the same place. It's a very intuitive safety. I've got no complaints about that. And in actual fact, although it's a, it, it looks as if it's in two stage there, you've actually got the th third stage here, haven't you, by depressing that catch in front of the safety, which allows you to unload it whilst keeping the safety catch on. That's a nice feature, turning a, a, a two stage safety into a three stage safety, which is nice. Um, I've always enjoyed the magazine system on these. It, to stop it falling out, you can't just depress the catch. You've got to put a bit of pressure on the magazine, drop the catch, and out it pops. It's a double sack magazine, takes five. And again, I like that. You can't really beat those magazines. They're nice and sturdy, robust. As you say, they're not going to be going anywhere once they're seated in the rifle. And, and good choice of materials as well. Yeah. There's Absolutely. nothing plastic about that. That's a good quality alloy, isn't it? Um, you know, it, it's a good system. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, as they say. And that would be certainly true of those two elements, the safety and the magazine. 
you know, as I say, when we first picked this up, initially you might feel a, a tiny bit underwhelmed. But as I say, the devil's in the detail. The Seiko 85 has been a good, reliable rifle for many years. It's a great rifle. So what they've done effectively is they've taken something that's really good and they've made some slight improvements. So it's not derogatory to say they've only changed it a little bit. In actual fact, what they've done is they've taken something that's good and made it even better. So well done Seiko. And I think, you know, if you're thinking about one, come in and see Barbary Gun Room. Uh, come and see Tom or yeah. Craig down yeah. here. Um, hopefully by then you'll have a few other. Yeah, models. so we've we've got we've got quite a few of these on order. So we'll we'll have a, a decent range in at some point. Obviously today being the release day, we've 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 been greeted with just one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well worth so, it. Look, just off the end four. Yeah, that's it. Tom, thanks ever so much. Pleasure. Yeah. Not great a problem to see. At all. And you.